Hey there, Razorback Nation and college football fans. Right now, I'm going to give my final thoughts and score prediction for number 16, Arkansas, versus number 7, Texas A&M. Already made two other videos breaking down this matchup, one covering the Aggies offense versus the Razorbacks defense, and the other covering the Razorbacks offense versus the Aggies defense. So if you haven't already, I encourage you to watch those as well. One of the advantages I give to Arkansas in this game is at quarterback. When I ask myself the question, which of these two would I rather have if the game came down solely to their play? I just think KJ Jefferson is the better of the two overall. Then I look at the matchups between the offensive and defensive lines of each team. And once again, I give Arkansas the advantage there. Even though I can understand why many experts believe A&M's defensive line to be superior to Arkansas's despite their struggles in the run game, I still trust Arkansas's offensive line against their defensive line way more than I trust the Aggies' offensive line against Arkansas's defensive line. Both of these defensive fronts have performed well for their teams in the first few weeks, but Arkansas's offensive line has undoubtedly outperformed A&M's especially when it comes to running the football, which is obviously A&M's most glaring weakness defensively. I give A&M the advantage in overall talent at the skill positions, even though, once again, I don't believe the gap is necessarily as wide as some of the experts seem to think. But when you're getting beat up front, when you don't have a quarterback who can make up for it with his play individually, those advantages can quickly be mitigated and nullified. There will be great matchups all over the field on both sides of the ball, including between the coaching staffs. You got Jimbo Fisher versus Barry Odom. You got Kendall Bryles versus Tim Elko. And I have a ton of respect for Jimbo Fisher. I think he's easily one of the top five most brilliant offensive minds in the game today. And despite the fact I think his offensive line is going to have those struggles against Arkansas's defensive front, and even despite the fact he's facing off against Barry Odom, who I could argue similar about as far as being one of the best in the business, I still think he'll come in with a good enough offensive scheme that will enable them to put points on the board and ensure that this one remains competitive throughout. But when it's all said and done, I think Arkansas will just simply prove to be the better team overall. I could see this one playing out in a multitude of different ways, but for a final score, I'm going to go 27-20 Arkansas over Texas A&M. Well, that's all the time I have for now. Thank you guys for your time. Please leave your score predictions, thoughts, and opinions in the comments section, as well as any suggestions you might have for me for future videos. Until next time, I pray you all stay safe and well, and... Whoopee! Go home!